Hello, hope you are doing good. I'm your host Jason. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to design an email marketing template on Canva using MailChimp. The first thing you want to do is create a Canva account and you also want to create a MailChimp account. You can create both accounts for completely free using your email address. And keep in mind that the MailChimp free account will allow you to send up to 1000 emails per month as you can see right here for completely free. Plus you'll be offered numerous other features on the free plan that you would normally have to pay for on other email marketing platforms. So once you're signed up, all you'll need to do now, you're going to tap on create in the top left hand corner. After tapping on create, you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, you're going to tap on design email. After tapping on design email, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this page, you'll be able to choose the template that you want to edit. But I recommend that you select start from scratch. So you're going to tap on apply since we will be using our template from Canva. After tapping on start from scratch, you'll be redirected to the editor page. Once on the editor page, all I want you to do now, you can see I have a logo added right here. Now to add your logo or heading, all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option and right where you see logo, you can simply tap on that and drag and place it. Now you can create your email heading by simply going onto Canva, tapping on the search bar right here. Then from here, you could type in email header real quick and then tap on enter. After you have tapped on enter, you'll be redirected to the templates page. On the templates page, you can simply scroll down and you can select a template of your liking. So you can see that there are numerous templates you can choose from as you can see right here. So let's say for example sake, I would like to use this template. I could simply tap on it. Then from there, I'm going to tap on customize this template. As I'm going to be creating an email template, for example, as this is being done close to Valentine's, I'm going to be creating an email template that is based around some products that I've now added to my Shopify or my e-commerce store that I would like to send out to my email list. So all you'll need to do once here, you can simply tap where you see fashion sale and we're going to simply type in Valentine's. So let's do that Valentine's sale right there. And instead of the background being this color, we'll tap right there, select the entire canvas, then tap on background color. And we are going to be changing the background color to a red shade. So let's see how that looks. Then we're going to be changing the text color. So we'll tap on text, then tap on text color. And from there, you can choose any text color you want, or you can tap on the color box right here to add a new color. So let's say for example, a shade of yellow. So you can see it right there. Then I'm going to be changing this also. So I'll change it to the same shade of yellow. So you'll select the entire text. Then you're going to change it as you can see right there. After doing that from here, I can remove this box. So I'm going to be removing this box or you can uh, leave the images as is. I'll leave them as is thus for example sake and I'm going to be giving a 15% off. So you'll type in 15% right there. After you have done that, for example, you could add a heart or so on. To do this, you'll tap on elements from the left hand menu option. Then from there, I'm going to simply type in Cupid. Then I'm just going to be adding a Cupid graphics. So I'm going to tap on graphics right here. And you can scroll down and you can see the different graphics that you can choose from. So let's say for example sake, I were to add this particular one. So you can see it right there. Let's say I were to add it right here. So you can see it right there and I'm going to minimize it. So I'll just add it right here in the corner. So I'm going to add it right there. So that is it. As you can see right here, I'll just minimize it. 
and that's it then we'll tap on share in the top right hand corner and we're going to tap on download then from there you'll tap on download once more once it has been downloaded you're going to go back onto mailchimp and from there you can tap on the logo section then you're going to tap on replace logo after doing that you're going to tap on my files then from there you're going to tap on upload in the top right hand corner after tapping on upload you're going to select your email template so let's do that real quick after we have added our email template as you can see right there you can choose whether you'd like to center it move it to the right move it to full as you can see right there i prefer full then i'll tap on done in the top left hand corner after doing that you can add your first content box so the content that i'll be using i'll be displaying three different products so we'll tap on layouts from the top left hand corner then from here i'll be selecting the number three layout option so i'm going to simply drag and place it after doing that you will tap on done once more in the top left hand corner then from there you are going to select image you are going to drag and place the image right where you see drag content here then from there you could tap on add and you could select upload image and you could select the image for the first item so i'll just be adding some random thumbnails for example sake but you could add the product images right here it is as easy as that so let's say for example that product image then i'm going to drag and place another content box right here and i'm going to add another product image so i'll tap on upload image then i'm just going to select another random thumbnail then from there i can add another image also so i'll tap on done and i'm going to be adding another image box after doing that we'll tap on add once more then select upload image and then from there i'll add another random one so i'll simply add this one right here as you can see there so i've now added three images now to add the button below the image all you'll need to do you're going to select button then you'll simply drag and place the button below each image so i'll place that button then from there you could place the link that you would like to redirect persons to after they have clicked on it or if you would like to for example place a phone number that will redirect them or a file you can do that and you can place a button under each one of the images by simply dragging and placing it as you can see right there so let's drag and place another button as you can see there and we'll also be adding our social media links right below the header to do this all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option then from there you could select social drag and place it right here below the header after you have dragged and placed it you can see you can see the social media icons right here and you could paste in your social media links on the left hand menu option so now that we have added our content we are going to be adding a content box right here so we'll simply go over to the left hand menu option drag and place paragraph then from there you can start typing and adding some information you can also change the block background color if you want and you can also add a header section if you want by simply going over to the left hand menu option you could add header and you could add a header section right there now if it is a case that you would like to make your header image clickable or any one of the images that we have added right here clickable all you'll need to do is tap on the image after you have tapped on the image you would go over to the left hand menu option and from there you are going to see link to and you'll simply paste in the link that you would like to redirect persons to and you can also do that with any random image by simply tapping on the image in the left hand menu option you will see the option link to as you can see right here and you can simply link the individuals to that particular page or so on once you are finished and it is to your liking all you'll need to do now you can tap on preview in the top left hand corner in the top right hand corner better yet to preview how your email looks 
and you can see how it looks on mobile desktop and inbox after you're finished and it is to your liking you're going to tap on save and exit or if you would like to send a test email you can do that by tapping on the drop down arrow you could tap on test email and from there you could paste in the email address that you would like to send it to but if you'd like to send it to your email list right away you can tap on save and exit after tapping on save and exit you'll be redirected to this page on this page you'll now be able to upload your contacts so you can tap on add recipients then from there you could tap on import contacts and you can add your contacts right there you can also tap on add from and from here you could add in your business name and also your business email address after doing that you can also tap on add subject and you could add a subject once you're finished doing that if you would like to schedule your email you could do that using mailchimp but keep in mind that you would need to go onto one of their paid plans to do that but for now we we'll leave it as send immediately then from here you can scroll down after you're finished you'll tap on send in the top right hand corner and that's it you'll be able to send it to your list hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe